in the Devonian period, which was more than 150 million years before the dinosaurs, the first spiders began to appear in our fossil records, though some evidence shows that earlier arachnids lived in the Ordovician period, roughly 450 million years ago. Since then, arachnids have evolved into more than 100,000 species that can be categorized into 11 living and 3 extinct orders. From the deep rainforests where the goliath bird-eating spiders live, to the deserts where the deadliest scorpions can be found, arachnids live practically everywhere, including a short list of species that live in the Antarctic region. Arachnids differ from insects as they have neither wings nor antenna. Their bodies are also composed of two main parts instead of three, the cephalothorax and the abdomen. They also have six pairs of appendages on their body, two claw-like fangs, two general-purpose mouth parts, and eight legs. Some arachnids have bizarre properties. Many scorpions in particular glow under ultraviolet light. This is because their shell acts as a whole-body light sensor which sends information to its nervous system. The garden center spider is another example, as it has the ability to spin a web with a small electric charge. Studying it closer may give us insights on how it creates nanoscale filaments, which may lead to the creation of a more efficient kind of polymer processing technology. Many spiders, especially certain breeds of jumping spiders, are known to be very intelligent. The fringed jumping spider, referred to scientifically as Portia fimbriata, has demonstrated extremely sharp vision and an awareness of three-dimensional space. It is able to sneak up on prey by visualizing its location and creating a plan to get it. You may or may not be aware that the human body contains billions of organisms, including two species of mites that live on your face. They are known as Demodex brevis and Demodex folliculorum. With further analysis, they can actually provide a reflection of our own evolutionary history, as the mites from different continents are genetically distinct. A new fossil in France reveals a 305 million year old arachnid that had all the qualities of a spider, but lacked the spinnerets needed to create a web. Because of this, it is referred to as an almost spider, or scientifically as Idmon arachne brasieri. Because spiders and other arachnids diversified so early, very little of their evolutionary history is known, but further investigation of this fossil might be able to answer some of the questions.